city officials say the facility has been so well maintained within the past several years since its closure that they could have it up and running in 30 days, simply using that time to hire and train employees. They are just waiting for new management. An empty detention center in Littlefield, Texas is being considered as a holding place for illegal immigrants. The facility has been closed since 2009. The facility is ready to go at this point in time. We've maintained the facility over these last few years to ensure that at any point in time that we had uh, possible occupants that we could move them in immediately. We maintain it pretty much on a monthly basis. We flush the toilets and sweep floors, mop floors, keep everything flowing. This is taken away from our normal activities, babysitting this thing. The upkeep has cost the small town. $750,000 of their annual budget is spent on the empty facility. The city manager's rebuttal to opposition for housing illegal immigrants is that the city could use the revenue. Plus, the issue is not something he can change on a local level. It's a federal issue as to how they're going to secure the border. We simply have a mechanism and the ability to place individuals in our facility to house them. And if the words detention center make you cringe for those who may have to stay there, you may want to think again. This one was originally built for juveniles and has a medical center, outdoor rec, gym, and more. Full of books, full of resources, law library just around the corner. The largest pod can house 128 people and the two others are similar, just smaller. The economic impact to the city uh, is going to have job creation that help to alleviate the debt service. So we, we kind of see it as a positive for the city. The city has been talking with Immigration and Customs Enforcement for the past two years on the issue, but they are not celebrating new management. Depends on how the government funds everything and until they sign the dotted line. Until the deal is closed. The city has only been in contact with Immigration Customs Enforcement on use for the facility for male, female, and family unit, unit illegal immigrants. Unaccompanied minors go through Health and Human Services, and the city has not had any conversations with that group. Chelsea Goss, Pro News 7.